Hey everybody, it's the Roger Rooms Media Minute. Today I wanted to talk with you about Facebook for Business. So we've gone over some different social media stuff. Facebook's come up here and there and I wanted to save it for a whole episode for itself because there's a lot going on to it. Facebook is the largest social network. It's the second busiest website on the internet. It's everywhere, it's involved in all of our lives. If you don't have a Facebook account, there's somebody in your family or your life who does have a Facebook account and they're interacting on there. It allows people to post pictures, videos, type texts, share links to other websites. Basically everything you do on a blog, but you're doing it on Facebook because they make it really easy to do. It makes it very easy for you to connect with your other friends, see what your other friends are doing, and it's also got another feature where businesses can set up what is called a page and then people can like that page. In essence, they'll start following that page and whenever you post updates, it shows up in their Facebook timeline. They can like it, they can comment on it, they can share it to other people, uh, they can click on a link, go to your website, go to your Facebook page. Tons of different things to do. As a business, I highly recommend that everybody create a Facebook account. I know in the past I've said that I don't think Facebook is for everybody. At Facebook, just have it. There's billions of people. It's, a, it's at a billion at this point, I'm pretty sure, of people on Facebook. It's where you need to be. And it's free to set up the account, get all your business information on there, get your phone number, get your address, get some pictures up there, get what you do, and start updating this thing. If not, you know, weekly, at least once a month, just post something, let them know that you're still open and alive. Uh, ask questions, use it for interaction. Uh, you can use it for support. I'll give you an example. We recently bought a pop-up trailer from a Jayco used trailer. We didn't have the manual for it. I went to the Jayco website. They didn't have manuals there. I went onto Facebook and I searched for Jayco and their business page came up. I sent them a message and within 12 hours had a reply back saying, hey, no problem, shoot an email to this email address and we'll get you that PDF for the manual. Now, I'm sure I could have gone through their website. The problem was their contact form wasn't super easy to use. I was on my phone and Facebook has created their mobile app. So it's really easy to use there on a phone. And I was just able to do that much quicker. So that gives you an idea of how Facebook can help your business. It also points out that, hey, your business website, as we've talked about before, needs to make sure you're taking mobile into consideration when you're building this thing. But that's, a, that's another video. We've done that one. Uh, this one's more about Facebook. Now, as a business with Facebook, you can also go one step further and you can advertise. The advertising is similar in ways to Google AdWords, which we've talked about in other videos, in that you can do a pay-per-click type method. You can also do cost per million uh, of impressions, cost per thousand CPM. And basically, instead of choosing keywords though, you're choosing demographics because when you sign up for a Facebook account, they get you to fill out all this information. You don't have to fill it all out. I don't necessarily recommend you do, but hey, your privacy is your own thing. Just understand that what you're doing when you sign up for these accounts, you're giving them your marriage status, your age, your income, where you went to school, where you live, what your interests are. All of these things are gathered up by Facebook and in the advertiser section, you can go through as a business and choose all of these things. So you can choose a zip code, age group, profession or interest. You can even choose companies and it will show you, it will target those ads to that demographic of people. Your, your ads can be images, they can be videos, they can be links, they can be text. It seems like images are the most successful ones at this point. But uh, you know, I've, I've done videos, those have had a lot of interaction. And basically you're working to build how many people are liking your page and all of these uh, interaction on Facebook. At the end of the day, you're trying to get more eyeballs onto your business, hopefully buying your product. So that's really Facebook in a nutshell. There's a ton more to it. Uh, getting it set up can be a challenge. There's the Facebook app section where you can really get crazy developing things that interact with what's going on at Facebook. It, it's a very large world. It's basically creating a whole new level of the World Wide Web in the Facebook closed garden. Is that good? Is it bad? Ah, you know, I've got another video I'm going to do about digital sharecropping. I'll get you some more thoughts on that, but it is there. It exists. As a business, the conversation is happening. 
about you, whether you know it, whether you like it or not, you might as well be in there, have an official page set up that looks good, and you can start interacting with your customers there. That's what I've got today. The email's right there. Comments are down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, either way, rock on.